to Affilorama, I'm Gina and in this lesson you're going to learn about how affiliate marketing is possible without a website. Now building a website is the most common way for affiliates to launch themselves into the affiliate marketing world and if you're interested in creating a long-term business you'll inevitably need to put together a website. However, if you're still learning about web design or you're simply not interested in building a website, there are other ways to get your affiliate links out there. So this lesson will teach you affiliate marketing without a website. Remember, the key with affiliate marketing is to get your affiliate link in front of an interested audience. How you choose to do that is completely up to you. With that in mind, here are a few methods you could try. The first one is to post on blogs and forums. This is a very simple way of getting a taste for affiliate marketing. All you have to do is find a product you'd like to promote, then start posting on blogs and forums with your affiliate link and your signature. Here is an example on our own forum of a member contributing quality discussion to the forums while placing their affiliate link in the signature at the bottom of their post. This is a win-win situation because while they are providing quality to the other users on the forums, the others are a lot more likely to respect their opinion and pay attention to their links. Of course, you should only post on blogs and forums where the people would be interested in the product. You're not going to get many bites for a dog training affiliate product when you're posting on a classic car enthusiast forum. If you simply spam on a blog or forum with useless posts, you're likely to be banned and your posts deleted. The second thing you can do is write a viral ebook or some other viral product. A viral product is one that is designed to spread, often quickly, to a great many people. This can be a great way of getting your affiliate links out there without ever having to create a website. You can produce a short 30 page ebook or a special report on a particular subject, insert links to affiliate products into it, and then distribute your book through whatever means you like. You could tell people that they're welcome to give it away, sell it, or put it on their websites. You can kick it off yourself by selling the ebook on eBay for a small amount. If your book is informative and useful rather than simply laden with affiliate ads, you might find that it spreads quite well. On a similar note to viral ebook or viral product, a very popular way of getting content out to people and a message across is YouTube. YouTube has taken the world by storm with 1 billion unique visitors per month. You can use this to your advantage. It doesn't take much more than a webcam and some quirky or informative ideas to get a channel going. That way you can add affiliate links into your description or over your video and convert some of that fan base into affiliate profits. Just pick a niche and create a video series related to that topic with a related affiliate promotion. That way the viewers you get will be a lot more likely to be interested in the affiliate product as they already have some interest to be watching the video in the first place. There are two main rules for doing this however that you must abide by. The first one is that the content has to be full of value for the viewers. Financial gain has to be secondary to this. If your video is obviously just there for you to make money from a link, you will get listed as spam and your efforts will become useless. Producing something worthwhile is a lot more successful and you get the attention and respect of potential customers that way. The second rule that you must abide by is don't be misleading. If your video is unrelated to your link or your title or description claims something that isn't in the video, you are violating YouTube's policies. So this is also something to avoid. Basically, video marketing on YouTube can be a risk because affiliate links can get listed as spam, but the best way to avoid this is just to be upfront, honest and useful. Avoid spammy behaviours. Some quality content options could include honest, informative product reviews, instructional videos, for example if your niche was food or nutrition, you could do cooking demos. Uh, topical discussions, e.g. tips for keeping food fresh or interesting nutritional facts. Just have one link in the description and possibly one over the video if it's extremely relevant, such as a product review video. If you want to be especially careful, note somewhere that you're an affiliate or that the link is an affiliate link and contact YouTube to check that you'll be in the clear. If your videos have value for the viewer and that stands out more than your money making efforts, then this shouldn't be a problem. The next way of getting your affiliate link out there without having a website is to write ads or reviews for classified websites. You're probably already familiar with using sites like Craigslist to look for old furniture or car parts, but you can also use classified sites to promote affiliate products. Consider writing ads or reviews for affiliate products and posting them with your affiliate link. 
Some sites you might want to try are www.usfreeads.com or epage.com or craigslist.com. The next way of getting your affiliate link out there without a website that I'm going to discuss with you today is building a hub. A hub page is a great way of getting started as an affiliate because um, you don't have to build a website from scratch. A hub is like a one-page mini website where you can talk about a subject you're passionate about, for example your affiliate market and associated products. It's hosted on the hub pages website so you don't need to know anything about web design to make it look fairly professional. A hub allows you to build a page on a topic, um, review products and add other content as you please or without having to write any HTML. The best part though is that hub pages is also a social networking site so simply by being on hub pages you'll begin to attract traffic interested in your topic and looking for recommendations. Hub pages is especially easy to monetize and hubs have tended in the past to do pretty well in the search engines. To sign up and start creating your hub, visit hubpages.com. Now once you've created an account, it's very easy to go up to the top corner and click on start a hub. Now you'll want to create a title for your hub, which is what your topic is going to be about um, and that's going to help people to find it. So um, make sure it's a topic that's relevant to your niche or your topic. For example, if I were in the dog training niche, I might put train my dog to hula. And then it will come up with topic suggestions. For example, pets and animals, dog tricks make sense but there's a whole bunch of other ones there or you could have um, you could have browsed to find a topic if it didn't come up with any but that's a really good way of finding one and then you just have formats so you could have a basic articles you could have a pets and animals article template you could have a recipe template if you were doing a recipe video which is exciting for if you have videos that you want to post it's another platform for that um, and copy layout from another hub. So if you've got another hub going, you can copy a particular layout. For this example, I'm just going to go basic basic articles. Then we have this one here, original, in-depth, useful, media rich. So they want you to just basically not be spamming them, not be writing to exploit search engines, not be writing um, anything too personal, copy to paraphrase. Like it, They want it to be original and interesting and relevant. And then you just create your hub and there are a whole bunch of different things here you can edit your title and um, add a quick summary of what your your thing will be about you can add um, a subtitle and text to a capsule and these will be the body of your article people will be able to comment on them there's other things that you can add so you can add text photos or videos but you can also even add polls, tables, quizzes, if you're setting up a quiz ever for um, getting information about your audience or anything like that, that's right there. Um, ratings, especially if you're doing um, recipes. And links here, so you can add a link. There's heaps of options for you to play around with, so that's another really great place to start affiliate marketing without building a full website yourself. The next thing that I will discuss with you is promoting your affiliate products directly through pay-per-click advertisements. We've left this method for last because quite frankly it's not one we recommend. This method involves creating pay-per-click campaigns through search engines like Google and Bing and promoting the merchant website directly through your affiliate link. So instead of using PPC to promote your own website, you send them straight to the merchant. There are a number of downsides to this method. First, with Google's AdWords in particular, there will be only one paid listing for a particular website displayed at any given time. That means that instead of competing against other advertisers for one of eight spots on a page, you're competing for just one spot. If you bid a large amount and write an attractive ad, then you might see your ad displayed, otherwise you can forget it. Secondly, you have no control over the quality of the merchant page. Increasingly, the search engines are looking at the page you're promoting and deciding whether this offers a good experience for their users. 
If the merchant site has little content or poor quality content, you could end up paying a much higher amount for your advertisements. There are always new affiliates who see this as a fast and easy way to get started, but we really recommend that you try the other methods that we've introduced first. In this lesson, you've learned some ways of getting your affiliate link out there in front of an audience without having to build a website, such as posting on blogs and forums, writing a viral ebook or some other viral product, making YouTube videos, writing ads or reviews for classified websites, building a Squidoo lens, or promoting affiliate products directly through pay-per-click advertisements. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time.